Hi guys, this is Busfids Mank here and welcome back to another model bus review on my channel. Now today I will be taking a look at this first Manchester right renowned Volvo model number BY661. This was released by Exclusive First Editions in September 2002 as EFE model 27609. This followed the original release, which was technically released in July 2002 as EFE model 27609A, and this was in a team bus livery given to first bus employees who worked special services during the Commonwealth Games. So that is in like a pretty cool yellow livery, as opposed to this, which is not only the easier version to find, but also in the standard first bus livery. Um, this is my only, so far, first Manchester model, and it is pretty nice to have, you know, most of Manchester models are stagecoach, um, this is one of only two, uh, technically, that are not stagecoach owned, the other one you will find out, um, in the future, um, obviously I got that around about the same time as I got this, uh, so yeah, it was a very exciting time to get this and the other model I will be showing you in the future, and the reason I'm saying in the future and not tomorrow is because, let's face it, this is no longer, this no longer counts as a daily series, because let's face it, I have been so inconsistent with these uploads, um, so yeah, uh, I, I think at this point I'm just gonna have to settle for an up, a series that I upload every so often, or every day or two, something like that, but yeah. Um, but yeah, let's uh, have a look at this model. Now, of course, this is in the usual exclusive first editions box, sort of like the um, first H. Hopper uh, Mercedes bus that I reviewed not so long ago. So, of course, it has the exclusive first editions logo. It's got uh, this red um, thing here with 176 scale precision diecast models. It's got the uh, dark red and uh, blue stripes at the end as well, as well as a map outline. Then, of course, if we look at this side, I uh, can't move my camera back anymore, but you can just about see it. This, of course, has the exclusive First Editions logo, as well as some information on the bus on this sticker. Right Volvo Renown A, First Manchester, model number 27609. Just like with the other one, on the back, you get uh, this same information talking about EFE. And then on this side, it's the same as the other one, of course, if the camera will focus. I don't know why it's not focusing, but yeah, it's basically what it is uh, on the other side. Information on the bus. But without further ado, let's get this out of the box and let's have a closer look at it. So yeah, here is the model out of its box. Now, if you are from Manchester and you've been to Piccadilly quite a lot, you will, of course, recognise the Route 135 which of course nowadays operates from Manchester Piccadilly to Bury. Um, I believe First Bus ran this route before Go Northwest took it over in the late 2010s with their 135 buses, which of course featured the standard Go Northwest um, livery, but with a green 135 front. And they are pretty nice buses, and I've actually caught a couple of them if you have, of course, watched my videos in the past. But yeah, um, in terms of the bus itself... I mean, I know I say this quite a lot, but this is probably as close to a standard first right renowned Volvo bus you can get as a model, because apart from minor branding from first gold service, this is basically just a bus in the Barbie livery. So yeah, let's have a look at the front of the bus for starters. And again, it is a conventional front for uh, these kind of buses. You've got the first logo, you've got the right Volvo logo, you've got the fleet number, which is BY661, you've got the number plate at the bottom, and of course at the top you have uh, Manchester Piccadilly 135 with a little gold star because this ran part of the um, first gold service. Uh, obviously, at the bottom, of course, you have the dark purple and dark pink, as well as some more white. And then covering the Volvo logo at the bottom of the window, you've, of course, got a bit more purple there. Then, of course, we move on to this side. And, of course, this is where the Barbie livery really shows off. Like, look, I just love it. It's really, really cool. I just love the way this uh, dark purple and white just flows up towards a first logo on the back. I think that looks amazing. I've always loved the Barbie livery. I really wish we could at least have it back somehow in Manchester. Don't get me wrong, I really like the uh, new ones, but the Barbie livery for me is OG. And of course, everyone's allowed their opinion, so you guys might disagree with that, but that's just my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, apart, of course, you've got you've got dark pink and dark purple at the bottom. But apart from that, is the rest of it is of course white. You have the first logo on the top left there. You have the route one three five to Manchester Piccadilly there as well. But the main difference between this and a lot of the conventional ones is the gold service branding. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really know what gold service is. It, I mean, I presume it was a service that first ran back in the day with... Um, I mean, there was, from what I've heard, a gold service bus which was all yellow and red. So, I mean, again, I don't know anything about that. Um, I'm too young to really understand any of that. So, yeah, if you guys uh, know anything about it and you want to uh, let me know in the comments, please feel free to because I, I do need a bit of a history lesson. But yeah, whatever the gold service is, it is on this bus. Of course, you get a golden gold service uh, branding on the window. And then at the top right, of course, you have gold service in blue with a golden star. Uh, also, it has Manchester on it as well, because obviously, first Manchester. Then on the back, and I really, really like the back. I think the back of these buses look great. Of course, you have the first um, logo on the engine cover with the Volvo in the bottom left. You have BY661, which is, of course, the fleet number. And at the top of the window, you have the 135 route and the number plate. Kind of like with the Frequento uh, model that I do have, the Stagecoach Hull one. It's a bit weird that the number plate doesn't have a space between the 7 and the R, but again, it's only a, it's only a minor thing, really. And then at the bottom, of course, you've got dark pink and purple. And then on this side, again, it's basically just the same, except the difference is there's no gold service on the window. Of course, as with the other side, you've got first logo in the top right. You've got the Manchester uh, there. You've got this first logo with this uh, cool uh, wavy blue and white. At the bottom of it is dark pink and purple. And of course, you've got the gold service as well on the right hand side, uh, the left hand side this time, again, with the golden star. But yeah, this model is awesome it's it's really really nice to have you know the barbie livery you can't go wrong with it in a model and you know as a first manchester one this is quite special to me you know it's the only one i've got so far i wouldn't mind collecting the other ones one day but i'm going to be honest with you since i'm a stagecoach fan my main priority is uh, getting the other stagecoach ones and also it's not just about manchester buses for me i do want to collect some other buses from different cities but yeah this is a really, really clean model. Again, I would highly recommend it if not only you want a first Manchester bus on the cheap, but you can also get it in the cool Barbie livery. So if you put it alongside your other stagecoach Manchester models, it's, you know, it's like you're back in the 2000s all over again. This was actually released only a couple of months, I believe, before the very first stagecoach Manchester bus released by Creative Master Northcord. Uh, which I do have in my uh, collection as well. So yeah, it is quite nostalgic when I put it with those two. I didn't grow up in that era, but well, the early of really that early stages of that era anyway. But you know, considering I've seen a lot of pictures, it's quite cool to put them together. And obviously, you know, they match pretty well for their time. But yeah, highly recommend this one. Um, again, it's a conventional first bus. Um, right renowned volvo as well so if you want a, like a basically almost a plain one then this is the what this is the model that you want but yeah i'll give this one a strong 8.5 out of 10 it's not my favorite bus in my collection without a doubt but it's still pretty nice to have one of only three first buses i own as of today so yeah this one is pretty cool and as i said very very happy to have it and especially with a slightly familiar route as well but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this model bus review. Um, as I said, I will be going out uh, this week, probably on Thursday, most likely to uh, Trafford bus station again, where I'm going to find some um, new angles to record. I don't want to record in the same one as last time because that would probably be a bit boring. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to review my next model bus, which is another Manchester one. So who knows, I might actually end up doing it tomorrow. But yeah, guys, as I said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel for more of these model bus reviews. And especially if you are enjoying the uh, bus recording stuff I'm doing, since I will be doing more of that in the future. But anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. And until next time. Bye-bye.